So you want to do some scripting in Modo. Uh, where do you start? First of all, I'm going to say that this is not a scripting tutorial in itself. This is just an introduction. And I will talk about some things that I found important when I started out. There are actually very few video tutorials available about Python scripting in Modo. And the few of that I found are actually very good. And I'm going to go to YouTube channel by Yes, It's Really Keith. He has a playlist with several scripting tutorials. One of them is about how to set up PyCharm. It's an external editor that you can use then for writing scripts. And he explains how to set PyCharm up and how to use it in relation to Modo. I suggest to check out these videos, but these might be already too advanced if you're just starting out with scripting. And so that's why I am creating my own set of videos to help you get up to speed with scripting in Modo. A few words about the relation between Modo commands and Python. Well, everything you do in Modo is a command. So for instance, when I'm clicking this button to make the cube tool active, I have executed the command. When I click it again, again, I have executed the command. When I switch from item mode to polygon component mode or to vertex mode, everything you do is actually a command in Modo. So how does scripting in Modo relate to these commands? Well, scripting in Modo is writing those commands in Python. And that is just like when you record a micro, but this time you are going to write a script so you can add flow control. So scripting in Modo is like micros, but with flow control. So you will need to know Python. And a good place to start is on the internet and when you go to this website python.org you have an enormous amount of information on how to get started with Python beginners guides so I really check out, uh, suggest to check out python.org it has also a Python tutorial that is very good I will provide these links in my description of the YouTube video, so you can uh, link over there to those. So this is something you really need to check out, because you will need to learn how to script in Python, of course. And now a bit about the old API and the new API. When you start out with scripting in Modo, it can be a bit confusing when you go to the wiki of the Foundry's website, it's sdk.luxology.com. Then there are two, actually three important parts. Well, everything is important, of course, but when you're starting out, I suggest you first out check out the command system. So in general, you have command system. When I open that, then you get an overview about working with commands and this is a very important section especially querying when i go over here to querying it tells you everything you need to know about how to make queries to commands so performing a query for instance with material.name when you add a question mark to it and you can perform a query about the name of that material. So this is something that you really need to check out, command system. Over here, so the basics, executing commands, executing scripts, querying, query operators, aliases, but especially these four first are very important when you start out with scripting in Modo. And what is this actually about the difference between the old and the new API? 
well, uh, Modo has progressed over the years, and when you go to the left side of the wiki, you have your main page, general, SDK, Python API, PD, SDK, and scripting. Now, these two are the places I go to for my API references. The TD SDK, I'm going to open it. This is Modo's new API, so you will find everything here about the scene class, the item class, the channel class, dialogues class, and so on. And when you go want to check out the reference for the old API, uh, you could go to main page, uh, but it's actually a bit difficult to navigate over here, so easier is it to go to the left side again and scripting. When you go to scripting and then in supported languages go to Python, now you have an overview of the old API, to say it to, or to call it like that, where you have your LX module, your script query, interface, error handling, and so on. So I've read on the forum that there is actually no problem at all with mixing the old and the new API. You might want to check out the forums because for some things the new API supersedes the old API. So my suggestion is that to use the new API as much as you can. And if there is a problem that you cannot solve with the new API, that you go to the old API with your lx.eval and lx.eval1 and lx.evalm commands. So as explained, the fastest way to go there is over here on the left with TD SDK for the new and to go for the old to scripting and then in supported languages, Python, and you get the old API. So to conclude, there is a lot to learn when you start out scripting in Mono, so you will need to know Python and you will need to know about Modo's command system and about the different APIs. And as explained uh, before, you might want to check out Keith's videos, his playlist on YouTube. Over here you get a very good idea what scripting is all about. And if this is too advanced, I suggest you check out my videos about the command system and I've also added a first script tutorial in itself and I will add some more. So I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.